Hans Hacke was born in Germany in 1936. Growing up in World War II, he watched his community crumble as they were regularly bombed and he walked to school with smoke in the streets. Only in his youth, he was witnessing the trauma and lasting effects that would be left surrounding his home country due to social and political change. His interest in art was already evident at such a young age and even more so after he was able to attend his first art history class. In 1956, Hawke enrolled at the State Art Academy in Kassel. During his time, he had an encounter with the Zero Group that most influenced his early works. The group was devoted to the metaphysical aspect of artistic production and were particularly interested in the relationship between humans and nature, using elements and industrial materials in their artworks as well. Hawke graduated in 1960 with a degree in art education. He is presently a German-American artist known for creating multimedia works that have critically intense social and political overtones. Hakka helped build a pathway for conceptual artists in the past and present day to have a political strategy through their art. Much of his work is created from very symbolic processes and materials, appearing very simple but with a deeper meaning than what the eye sees. Life is unpredictable. One day, life is calm and peaceful. The day goes on and all is well, casual and passing. The next, tragedy can strike. Suddenly, the world is ending and life feels unbearable and broken down. Life is once again unpredictable. Han's childhood is proof of that alone, with the war happening in his front yard, a place someone should feel safe and secure. As individual human beings, we each have our own lives full of joy and sorrow. However, we all feel those emotions not just as individuals, but also as a community. Living in the United States of America, we have faced tragedy together and felt that pain as one. As Hans Hacke has lived through such moments, his artwork can reflect what he and his home country endured growing up, but also in present day with very similar national tragedies as his inspiration. Life Goes On is a small but powerful piece Hacke put together in 2005. As simple as can be, the work is a small potted orange tree with a single broken branch. The pop of the warm bright orange along with the plant itself as an organic form adds to that inviting feeling of joy in life. Many have questioned the work, debating if this is truly art. With the questioning going around, Hans came back with a statement saying, whether it is an artwork, was an artwork at some point, or what status it has now, I can't tell you goes on to say, if an artist says something is a work of art, then it is a work of art. This is similar to the ready-made of what Marcel Duchamp became very popular for making in the art world. This may have just been seen as a plant before, but Hakka saw the beauty of art within the piece and gave it a deeper meaning. The small tree is broken and damaged, yet is still managing to bear fruit through the violence that divides it. The symbolic work represents many negative moments going on in the United States at the time it was made, such as the ongoing war in Iraq and catastrophic natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina. With all the negatives of life, the work suggests that there is hope through using the fruit, still hinting at how fragile reality truly is. Hakka was granted an exhibition titled State of the Union in 2005 at the Paula Cooper Gallery. This exhibition was a few short years after 9-11, but was in the midst of many of the most critical moments in the United States. In 2010, Hakka was interviewed about Life Goes On. Seeing as it was the only organic and living sculpture in the exhibition surrounded by items that appeared to be destroyed, such as a vertical hanging but torn American flag and a printer spitting out news stories amongst other things. The interviewer said she found this piece to be incredibly beautiful, perhaps because the tree provided a sense of relief in relation to the other works. As a country, we broke through the arms of fear that held us down and grew together from that. This piece is relevant still, with many of the issues and tragedies going on today in the United States. We've seen the constant destruction of our land with the recent outbreak of fires in California over the last few years. They experienced the deadliest and most destructive wildfires in its history in 2017 and 2018. The wildfires occurring the past few years have been the reason that more than 100 lives were lost, along with the destruction of thousands of homes and overall exposing millions of urban and rural Californians to unhealthy air. With all the damage that occurred and the blame of reason behind the fires through the media, 
the whole country rallied to heal what was damaged in the end. Even with that push of negativity that comes with most things in life, we yet again managed to quite literally grow from what was once seen as dead and gone. We also happened to have seen the true fear brought from the continuing movement for the deportation of illegal immigrants and even those granted stay due to education in the United States, all since Donald Trump has taken office in 2016. Fear has been placed into the lives of many people who have known the United States to be their only home. While this issue is still very fresh and relevant, and it may feel like the end of something so important for many as it is, the growth has started and will only continue. DACA recipients all over the country have rallied and gathered together, supporting one another for what is being taken from them. In November of 2019, protesters gathered from all over the country to support the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, while the U.S. Supreme Court began their hearing of its case. The protesters were said to have expressed themes of community and togetherness with the support of DACA. As it may be hard to grasp, this gathering would not have happened if it just as hands a small potted orange tree. When placed through difficult circumstances, the community is a reassertion of resilience and regrowth. Hans was able to reveal obvious truths we face in difficult circumstances through his art, in more ways than one. Haka showed how the damage we face as a country and as individuals can easily break us down, no matter how mighty we may seem. Through his work, we can see and understand how fragile and delicate we are in reality. Even when we are divided, as we constantly appear to be, there seems to be no way out of the turmoil. Growth is still and will always be possible through what feels to be the impossible.